Welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we'll be looking at the um, stoichiometry. The tutorial today is going to help us understand some basic methods of calculating um, stoichiometry related problems. So this stoichiometry, what is it all about? Stoichiometry is the study of the quantity of the reactants and the products that which involve in what chemical reaction and it can also be defined as the determination of the ratio in which an element compound or substance combined in a chemical reaction. In stoichiometric calculations or um, problems, we can only tackle it based on conversion of one quantity to another. That means using the word conversion factors. For example, we can convert, when we talk about masses, we can convert from mass to mass, we can convert to mole to mass, we can convert to mass to mole and mole to mole. If we are talking about gases, we can also convert from gas volume to mole or mole to volume, mass to volume or volume to mass or volume to volume. Now, one of the basic conversion factors we need in this calculations is the molar mass. The molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance expressed in grams and its unit is what? Gram per mole. Gram per mole. And when we're dealing with gases, then we talk about the molar volume. The molar volume of um, the volume of every gas at STP. Or any gas at STP, the molar volume, we use that to do the work in that. So now before you can you can handle stoichiometric calculations or problems, you'll be able to write a balanced chemical equation. Now, from a balanced chemical chemical equation, all these factors will be seen. You will be able to detect all these factors. You will, be, you will find all these factors there. For example, when you have the balanced equation of this, let's say we have equation of, oh my God. So from this, we'll be able to know, we find out that what we have here is one mole of this, of hydrogen, combined with one mole of oxygen to give us one mole of two moles of steel. That is two moles of hydrogen combined with one mole of oxygen to give us two moles of steam. So in the same way, then you can, with this um, ratio, with this conversion ratio, converting them, this to different ratio in order to get what we want, can convert it to different ratio to get what we want. For example, now if we are looking for quantity that we react with this, we can get the ratio of it with that. So what we mean, what we mean here is that half of the volume will give us of oxygen will react with this, and then that will give us the same quantity of volume of steam. So this is a, a very a, a good example of what we mean by that. So in this case, we are going to look at some calculation that will help us to really understand this very well. So from here, we will see that the question says calculate the mass of copper that will be deposited if 20 grams of zinc reacts with copper chloride. Now this is the balanced chemical equation of that. From this chemi chemical equation, we will be able to see some basic information here. We have one mole of zinc will give us one mole of copper. Of z sorry, zinc. Zinc. So another information we have here is also that gram of zinc will also give us of copper. So now we are looking for mass. So which means the mass of this that will give us a mass of that. So what we have here is more, more like mass to mass and uh, this in conversion. We have it to be of grams of zinc will give us 
0.5 grams of what copper so 20 grams of zinc will give us 19.42 grams so this is what we have now to convert it now working with mole to mass mole to mass we know that one mole of zinc will give us of what copper then we convert this one to um, mole which is by using the relation mass mass over molar mass so we have 20 divided by um, 0.4 we have uh, 0.31 mole that means 0.31 mole will give us 0 um, 63.5 and 0.31 mole divided by 1 that will give us and 19.42 grams that is what we will have succeeded in using more to more to convert to more then we will return it back to mass that we are required to you know the desired result that we needed so that's the um, a good example of what we are talking about the next one we're going to look at is a uh, mole to volume that's what we're going to work on now so here we have a, another listing. This question has to do with, uh, like we are say, I stated earlier, we will be talking about more, more to what volume. Say that 30 grams of sodium triazocarbonate reacts with excess hydrochloric acid and calculate the volume of carbon four liberated. From this chemical equation, we find out it's one mole, and then the volume here is what carbon four that produces what two two point four gm cube. That is what we have. So from here, from here, the first thing we are going to do here is to convert this one to moles. So to convert it to moles, we have a mole is equal to mass, mass over what molar mass, that is 30 over what that will give us that will give us 0 0.28 moles. 0.28 moles. Now, what it means that if one mole, one mole, one mole of sodium triazocarbonate will give us 22.4 dm cube of carbon 4 or 22.4 liter of carbon 4. We have then 0.28 mole will give us. 22.4 times 1 times 0.28 over 1 that will give us um, 6.34 6 dm cube of what carbon 4. Now, as you can see that um, we move from moles, convert to moles, then we are able to get it to what volume. Then, in, 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 each, in each case, in every case in this team, You'll be able to know from a chemical equation, you'll be able to know what you are required to do. So, thank you so much for coming this far. I want to encourage you to subscribe if it's today, if you are watching for the first time. And then I want to I want you to like and also make sure you um, comment so that because I enjoy reading your comments. Thank you so much for being part of it. Have a blast. Thank you.